All right, how we doing? Uh, we're here at Sterilizer Autoclave Solutions. We have a Statum 2000 that was sent in from Texas uh, recording a Cycle Fault 7. Uh, this, this machine was sent to us for preventative maintenance and repair. Um, right now we're gonna go over Cycle Fault 7. Uh, Cycle Fault 7 is the cassette temperature has dropped four degrees Celsius be below a set point. Um, if the cassette can be removed normally after venting, check. What we're going to do is we're going to check for visible steam leaks from the cassette. So this can be removed normally. Uh, normally what you'll see is you'll see a bunch of steam leaking everywhere. It could be the seal is out of place or the seal is bad. The cassette seal should be replaced every 500 cycles or six months. Uh, you can find that on our website at statumusa.com. All right, so the next thing, if no visible steam leaks are coming from the seal, we're going to look at this solenoid. This solenoid is built of a coil, a plunger, and a stem. Usually what happens is a, you know, a piece of a string or a needle tip or something like that will get stuck inside of this solenoid coil, preventing it from venting and exhausting as it should. Um, the next thing would be verify that the check valve, which is this, and the pressure relief valve, which is that, are not leaking. Um, this check valve should be replaced every two years. Um, it's in line to this air compressor, a way to test that. I can show you in another video, again, on statumusa.com. Um, after those two things, uh, if the cassette can't be removed, um, then we would go to this exhaust tubing. Make sure it's not kinked like this or pinched down here right by the, right, the fitting. Uh, that could be an issue, or if you put if you pack too many instruments in your cassette, that could also be an issue. Um, again, these things are sent to us from all over the country. Uh, give us a call if you need any help, 704-966-1650, or look for more videos on our website, www.statumusa.com. Thank you.